Okay, what is the mass percentage composition of lead carbonate? So, what percentage is made up with each element is the question that we're trying to get to here. So if we're going to start that question, the first thing we're going to need to know is what is the molecular formula for lead carbonate? Well, we can look it up. It's Pb, so Pb for lead, CO3. Now we know our molecular formula, we can work out our molar mass. Well, there's one lead, so there'll be one multiplied by, you're going to have to look up lead in the periodic table, so pull out our periodic table, and you'll see that lead has a molar mass of 207.2. Um, there's one carbon, so 1 by 12.011, you can see that in carbon, and there's three oxygens, so 3 multiplied by 15.9. Nine, nine. Add those all together, and what do you get? Well, you can see that there's only four uh, significant figures in my answer for lead here. So, four significant figures in our answer is probably quite enough. Uh, maybe five if you want, but 267.21 grams per mole. So the next question is, what percentage of that is made up with each element? Well. That's not too hard to do. All we have to do is take the mass accounted for inside that for each element and express it as a percentage. So we know that inside this 267 grams per mole, one mole of this weighs 267 grams, 207.2 grams of that are lead. So what percentage is lead? It'll be 207.2 grams per mole divided by 267.21 grams per mole multiplied by 100%. So about three quarters of this, or just over three quarters, so that'll give us 77.54% PB, or lead. So 77.54% of our lead carbonate is actually the element lead itself. So if you were to try and recover the lead as a metal back from that, the most you could expect back would be 77.5% of it as metal. What about the others then? Well, for carbon, we know that carbon is 12.011, and there's only one carbon in it. So 12.011 grams of this mole of lead carbonate are carbon. So divide it by the 267.21, they're both grams per mole. Multiply it by 100%, and the units will cancel out. And what we'll be left with, what we'll be left with is 4.4 9% carbon. So 4.5% of this is carbon. The last element then is oxygen. So seeing as there's only three elements, we could add up this and this and take it away from 100%. The rest of it has to be oxygen. Or you can do it the same way. So 3 by 15.999 is 47.997. So 47.997 grams per mole are oxygen. This is responsible. This part of the mole, molar mass is made up of the oxygen atoms. So 47.997 grams per mole are oxygen. Divide that by 267.21 grams per mole, that is the total molar mass, and multiply it by 100%. And that should equal to these two taken away from 100%, which it does, you get 17.96 percent. Okay, so that's how you work out your, molar, your mass percentage. It works for any compound, you just find the molar mass and then find the mass of each particular constituent inside that and then express it as a percent. So divide the mass you're interested in by the total mass, multiply by 100 percent and you get your mass percent back. All right, if you have any questions post them below Moodle or in the labs. Hope that's been helpful. Bye!